Hello again. Uh, this one is about the mass airflow sensor, how to measure it. And like I, I told you, my technique is, there are two ways of it. These yellow ones are putting in back probes. Back probes means you're going in from top through the connector. Now, I'm gonna use both methods. My method is, as you can see, I put the lead through the connector terminal disconnector I put it in and I close the connector making contact to the sensor or the load because I want to make sure that I'm making contact with the load I don't want to measure the, the conductor the connector out of circuit I want to make sure it's connected in circuit let's look at the measurements now you have pink black and yellow Pink for GM is always, as you're going to see, B+. Plus. Since we're running well, you're going to see, and right here, right here. So, pink is 14 volts, B+. Plus. Why? Because the alternator is working, right? So we're not going to measure 12 volts, we're going to measure 14 volts. This is the way I measure mine. You see how I have it? It's making contact in the terminal, inside the terminal, making sure there's no corrosion or anything. Now, the other side is the ground side, if we can get to it. Okay, that's the ground side. Let's go to the signal side. Now, the signal side, these mass airflow sensors take a voltage and they change it into a frequency. So, you're looking for uh, 2,000, 3,000 hertz, depending if you're an idle. If, you, if you're open idle, if you open the throttle, the throttle, the throttle plate, stepping on the gas, the frequency should go up. So we're looking for anything in, in uh, uh, two, her, two kilohertz, three, three kilohertz, anything like that. Why is it frequency? As you can see, this part of it, this one, is has something called a Wheatstone Bridge, where it has the actual resistor is in here, and it's a film resistor where uh, heat or the air hits it. The circuit tries to keep the same amount of current going through that bridge. It's a bridge of four resistors. Well. I don't want to get too technical, but there's an armband and there's transistors, making sure that the by feedback, making sure that that current is keeping constant. So is the voltage. So the voltage output is converted to a frequency. So we're going to go here using my method over here. Okay. Now you see, obviously, this is in volts. We're going to change the scale to hertz. Now look at the scale, two kilohertz, okay? That represents the signal going from here to the computer. Let's, hopefully we'll put it in a, in a safe place. Hopefully you can see it. Let's increase the idle. I hope you saw that. I hope you saw the frequency increased as we increased the air and the gas, the airflow ratio, and the computer acknowledged it by the output of this was the frequency. More air went in, more air is going through this intake chamber, right? Intake duct. Therefore, more fuel, right? With associated with that is the frequency goes up as you have seen. Now if I take these back probes out, right, would it make a difference? See the back probes? I took this, I use this, and I use this, and I put it inside making a connection with the connector on top to the connector on the bottom. That's more precise of an accurate measurement to me. 
because if you just take out this connector, what does that prove? There's 12 volts, 14 volts. What does that prove? What happens if this amp-amp or this transistor loads it down? How am I going to know that? How about if there's corrosion or something? How am I going to know that? Right now, I'm making contact from the top to this, to this, where all the transistors and amp-amps are and the resistors are inside. And then I know at least what I'm measuring is true value. Always leave it in circuit. Uh, please go to my channel, Jolly Trying to Cinematic for Auto. Like I said, sorry about the photography. Hope it'll be better. Hopefully. And hopefully you'll see my channel. We'll do more hands-on. Thanks for watching.